what's going <laughs> what's going on guys um you might hear some thunder sounds tonight it's raining while i'm recording this um a lot of thunder and lightning going on outside so you might hear some thunder in the background don't mind it special effects okay all right so we're gonna jump into another episode of viking here season one episode seven um yeah episode seven and then we're gonna see what happens from there i might try to do another episode but that's not a hundred percent that i might do that other episode because i'm recording this right before game of thrones airs so i might not have time to do the second one tonight so uh, but I'll try to get a second one out to you guys before the end of the week because it's been a while since we had any Vikings uploads. So, um, last episode, Ragnar became Earl. So, he's now Earl Ragnar. Um, still interested to see how they move forward from here. I still want to know if Rolo got some sort of cool plan. Like, he, you know, is right now, I don't know if I can trust him. I don't know if I can trust him. He is, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, one minute you're like, yes, he came through for our boy Ragnar. But on the other hand, it's like, what is this dude planning? Why is he saying this stuff? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, like he wants to be Earl or is he going to figure out a way to get rid of Ragnar? What is the situation here? But there is um, there is some stuff going on with um you know them being them being earl and stuff what is going to happen to um earl arison's um wife now he's gone so you know rollo trying to take up trying to be with her because it seems like they had a relationship or some somewhat um they killed the daughter's husband at least she did so the widow so it's nothing in the last episode we had a great fight and as as i was saying on my review i was like the pacing of the episode i didn't like the pacing of the pacing of the episode was terrible it, it was terrible and this is the only thing that i had a problem with everything else was fine everything else was was good was great about the episode it's, the pacing was just way off there's a lot of stuff they could have done with that episode as in I mean, the fight ended like 15 minutes into the episode, I think, or 15 to 20 minutes. So they had 20 minutes to do something with it, and they practically did nothing. <laughs> so let's be honest about it, right? It was just a celebration, and and, and then we, we don't know what Rolo is planning. So, yeah, it was pretty much it. And then we saw the um, what's going on in England. Um, the king killed one of his threw one of his dude into a snake pit that's it but we're gonna jump into this episode man i will see you guys for the review um hopefully i can get two episodes done i don't think so because um game of thrones um episode four comes out in another hour and i usually record as soon as it drops on hbo now so thank you guys for watching as always man i will see you guys for the next one all right All right, so I just finished watching episode seven of Vikings, man, and it was a good one. Definitely way better pacing in this episode. Way better. They got a lot, got a lot done in 40 minutes, you know? Don't waste the time, man. Get stuff rolling. It was just like, I hate when you're watching a show and the pacing is really good and then they just have this one episode just drop right in the middle. That's like, was everybody just twiddling their thumbs throughout this whole thing when they were writing it, you know? So it was very good that they brought it back to the pacing of the previous episodes um, from one through five. Episode six, the pacing terrible. So in episode seven, you know, they went to um to england to um pillage as always but i like how ragnar took the slow approach he didn't rush into things because he doesn't really know 
how powerful they are. And that's just the good sense of war and the, the experience that he has, you know, and it, it, sh it goes to show you the difference between him and Rolo. And I think in, in a lot of ways, that's why they have the character Rolo is like that and being his brother is the one that's always challenging him and saying, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Rolo is ready to fight all the time, but he's got to learn to calm down. At least he listens. So I'll give him props for that. He does listen to Ragnar. Ragnar has a better head on his body. You get what I'm saying? As in, he's smarter. He's smarter than Rolo, at least at this point in the story, it seems that way. Um seems like Ragnar, is, he doesn't make rash decision. He thinks before he acts, which is the, is a great trait of a great leader. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love how he approached this whole thing. You know, cat, um, the, bro <laughs> the brother, bro. I can't remember him. Lord, whatever his name is. Um in there praying why are you praying and not outside battle first of all how are you gonna set up camp and have nobody on guard literally no one was guarding the camp did you guys realize that because they didn't kill anybody on their way in floki came in and he was calming the, the horses down um I didn't see them kill anybody that was on guard. You get what I'm saying? Or if they were guarding and fell asleep, whatever the situation is, they were sleeping in their camp with unguarded. So they got rolled over. He in, he in his tent praying, not even trying to help, got captured immediately. So he didn't even fight. He didn't even get to fight. What was he praying for? I don't know. <laughs> but... The king was upset, so Ragnar he went there, used to let them know that hey, I got the I got the brother, so I'll be back. So you will know I have the brother captured, so you don't try no funny business when we try to get up in here and accept your invite and whatever. So his demand was basically two thousand um, pounds in weight in gold and silver, which. It's high. 2,000 pounds of gold ain't, ain't no joke amount of gold. That's a lot of gold. So um, the king said he needed time, and they also wanted one of them to convert to Christian, whatever that was about. <laughs> you know, so, um, but I understood where he was coming from, though. Rolo did it as a joke. Floki was upset, saying you probably angered the god. Who knows? It could be. Because he decided to do that, that's the reason why Lagertha miscarried. Who knows? Um, but that was sad, though, that she miscarried. Didn't expect that. Because I thought I'm bringing out the things like what happened. Um, so, as you see, all that blood. It's, it's a lot of blood during childbirth, but it's not that much. It's, that's a lot of blood. So, I knew it had to be something that she miscarried. So, that's sad. Ragnar doesn't know. He's going to be really sad when he gets home to know that. Maybe the, the punishment is not is now that he's... He, the, um, the prophecy is that he's going to have many sons. Now, maybe because of what Rolo did, he's being punished. I don't know. Because he allowed it. Maybe that's the reason why he's being punished. Because he allowed Rolo to do that. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. So... The king has swear, sworn to get his revenge, which was expected. Um, I'm not sure if the brother is dead. Is the brother dead? I don't think the brother is dead. I think the brother, I think he just injured him, beat him up really badly, and sent him back on the horse. I'm not, sh I'm, I'm not entirely sure that um, her name, I, his name, I don't remember if... Like, there was no signs like he was there. It looked like he was just beat up pretty bad. Um, there was no physical cuts on him, really. Unless they cut his throat, which, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm not 100% sure that he's dead. If he is, don't tell me. I guess we'll find out in probably the next episode or so. 
Um, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. Um, Ragnar is keeping an eye on Rolo, so I'm keeping an eye on Rolo too, you know? So the whole situation with Siggy, um, I think she's truly, truly scared for, for herself and her daughter. I don't think she's going to try nothing unless she and Rolo has some sort of plan and that's part of the plan for her to go be a slave for them. So I don't know, but thank you guys for watching as always, man. This was a great episode to watch. Um, so I can't wait to watch the next one. I wanted to do it tonight, but I can't. So I will try and get that done tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and.